Ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew Snort with Creative Community Solutions in collaboration with Status Network. And as 2023 gets to a close, there's some exciting hockey action here at the Gas South District with the Atlanta Gladiators. So excited to have a looming presence with us today, and that is none other than Jay Powell. Jay, how you doing? Doing great. How about yourself? Hey, great, Jay. Before we get into tonight's game, give us a little bit of your backstory of your journey, you know, through hockey at the different levels up to this uh, level. Um, yeah, well, honestly, most of my hockey has been, you know, in this part of the world, in the southeast. Um, spent a little bit of time elsewhere, but um, a little bit in the northeast, a little bit in Minnesota. But, um, yeah, a lot of uh, southeastern hockey for me. So, born and raised in Nashville. and. Grew up playing right down the road at the Ice Forum um, quite a bit when I was younger, so um, it's a little bit of full circle being here. And, def sure. and definitely full circle, as you know, you guys are affiliated with the National Predators. What does it feel like having those ties with the hometown team? It's really cool. Honestly, I, I saw that, uh, I think, was it last year where the affiliation started? Yeah, so I saw that last year, um, and, you know, honestly, it was pretty cool just to see you know, kind of having that in your backyard. It's always cool to see the proximity being close for these teams with the affiliations. And I think it really works well. And um, they've done a really good job here so far. So I've enjoyed it. Awesome. Now, of course, the season, it's a grind. And right now you've got a mini grind. This is the second game of three games in a row. You guys were coming off of a win last yeah. night. Walk through with us a little bit about the physical and mental preparation, not only to defend home ice, but then yeah, you've got back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games. Yeah, it's it's obviously tough. Um, you know, there's not many leagues that play three and three, but um, I think at the end of the day, you kind of have to go back to when you're younger in a way because you're playing tournaments and game weekends where you're playing more games and, you know, a three-day stretch. So, um, honestly, I, I've kind of always tried to look at it that way, and I kind of learned this last year. Um, we had some tough stretches as well, um, a lot of weeks and – you know, time periods where, you know, you didn't have a whole lot of time in between your next game. But um, I think sometimes you just got to relax and realize it's just another hockey game. So, and just keep your focus. All right. Now, one thing you always hear, team chemistry. It's easy to talk about team chemistry when you think about how you guys came out the gate. Yeah. You've had a different stretch. Eight of the last ten have not gone your way. Absolutely. What are you guys doing individually and collectively to maintain the focus, the one game at a time approach, be 1-0 and after each game? I think just not get away from what we want to do. Um, I think regardless of the outcome, you know, a lot of times we're doing the right things and, you know, we're – we're trying to build on something and I think at the end of the day you just kind of put your nose on the grindstone and um, you know keep at it and we still we're still trying to do exactly what we want to do um, every night so I think as we build and you know we find success you know we just look to build on that and you know create more success hopefully so that's kind of the goal. Okay last question tonight 7 p.m. the ice drops what message would you like to deliver to the fans younger players things along those lines would be like hey you know, here's things that how you guys can continue to grow in the game, but just, hey, we feed off of this. Yeah, stuff. absolutely. We love the support. Um, obviously, last night was a pretty good crowd. Uh, hoping to have one tonight as well. But, um, you know, your energy definitely helps us a lot. So, you know, bring that tonight and hopefully we can get that the rest of the year and give you guys uh, the result that we want. All right. Well, Jay, thank you for taking time out of your pre-game routine to talk with us. Obviously, best wishes tonight. Best wishes not only, you know, for the season in general, but during this current stretch, ladies and gentlemen, this is their second game, three nights in a row. So they are definitely on the ground. Yeah, we are. Yes, sir. So I thank, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.